Hey, hey, you guys! It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is day 1391 of my ketogenic journey. I'm gonna talk about what I ate, I'm gonna share my way in, and so much more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell if you're interested in seeing a daily, honest weight loss life journey. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto diamond style. Hope you don't mind this fresh face that just came out the shower after a hot hot day of working in a building with no AC um, all I could smell was sweat and I had to get in that shower but the hair is clean and the face is moisturized all that good stuff and it's almost beyond bedtime I need bed I need bed I only got like four hours of sleep last night I need bed um, but I'm slow and I'm lazy so, <laughs> anyway, um, well, today is my mom's 69th birthday, and um, she was released from the hospital today. Uh, so far, so good, I think. My dad rolled his eyes when I asked, her, asked how she was doing, but what he experiences, what I experience, going to be two different things. So, we're going to have to see how that goes into play there. Um, I... Now, I, I wouldn't normally do this, but I bought her a very small coconut cake. It's her birthday, and uh, I bought her a pair of shorts and a, a tank top, a, a nice little short set. Um, on the way home from work, because I had to kind of rush by Walmart and grab one. Um, but, I mean, I didn't really want to give her that stuff, the, the, the coconut cake, but that is her favorite cake, and I got a very small one. And Corey went and bought her some keto ice cream, some sugar-free cookies and stuff like that. So, we're going to try to switch her on over and help her with it. at least the the physical issues maybe those will help with the mental um, at least on some level um, she is interested in getting her medication she did call me to, to tell my daddy to uh, remind my dad to get her medicine in the morning which he's in the next room she could have reminded him so I don't know but uh, they they have their their way they just do and I don't even I don't even get involved with it if I can avoid it. Um, but I did give her hugs, and she gave me hugs, and she seemed very happy. And then Zach ran down there, and he gave her this little butterfly. I actually bought it for her as a coming home gift for whenever she did get out. She loves butterflies. She could not see it in her own hands. Um, so this is a new thing. And my dad said that she's taken the blindness part of it uh, much better than he thought she would because she always used to say she'd rather be dead than blind. So, at least she's, you know, she's managing that part of it, but that may have a big trigger effect to what's going on mentally. And plus, I have read that, like, people with schizophrenia and different stuff, with vision problems, it makes it worse because their brain is filling in gaps of things they can't see. So, yeah, that's possible. So Monday I'm going to make her an eye doctor's appointment. We'll see if there's an eye thing that something we can do. She's already had cataract surgery so if it's a cataract problem we can't do that again. Um, but she does have retinitis pigmentosa. Corey says hi. Hello. Hi to baby. She a cuddle bug. Mm. So uh, her hair smells very good. Well, cool. <laughs> really smells good. Oh god damn it. So, uh, I don't know what I was talking about, but Corey has stripped her hair of hair dyes. What was that stuff called? Uh, color oops. Color oops. I might actually do it. Um, I do like my hair this color, but it's very difficult to maintain. The blonde is trying to come back into my roots, and it's... Don't worry. I don't want to dye my hair every three or four weeks. Months. Probably don't. I'm stuck. Um, I was thinking at some point doing a full rainbow all the way around. Like in layers, though. Like I do this the top layer and one set, set of rainbow. And then I do a different, like, it'll look really cool. It's so not my thing. Uh, <laughs> but, thinking about you know, that, that's her thing, and that's not, not to her. Um, 
Oh, my, my, all the way until I'm old and gray, my hair will be different colors. I'll be that crazy old lady your friends walk into and go, oh, hey, look at, your, look at her hair. She's got, she, she's fun. Mm -hmm. That's not what they're going to say. <laughs> that would be crazy. It'll be a mixture of both, probably. It's a family tradition. Trait. I'm dying your hair all the way until you're old and gray, because I don't think grandma's no, ever No, just being crazy when you're old. <laughs> Don't worry, you're getting there. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have like 40 years still, you're fine. Grandma's only 26 years older than me. She has a lot more mental uh, mental and um, physical issues than you do. She didn't at my age. <laughs> but you found keto. Mm -hmm. She has not. Yes. There's a difference there. Hello, photo Tear Tearing right over my little arms. Look at those little teeth. I thought she was going bad. She won't. She won't. No. <laughs> oh, your hair looks different. She's looking in a mirror making it's conditioned. Faces. That's good. Feels a lot better. Probably give it maybe a day or two more of conditioning it good and it should be good enough. To you know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and get my way in and then I'll be right back to finish talking. Let's check this out real fast. Well, <clears throat> good Friday morning, you guys. It's 167.6 so that is my new um, weigh in at the moment the the most recent weigh in from this oh, morning hi. thank you <laughs> um, is it bad? it's 167 point something is that higher? it's pretty much the same thing I weighed when I came back from Gatlinburg she's trying to give gloves <laughs> Wide mouth kisses. <laughs> Slobber. Down. Down. Do you want me? You want a snack? Ooh, snack. That's oh, the that's... way she looked around. Like, mm -hmm. I'll help you get down. <laughs> took off everything too, and then stripped down and got comfy. Um. All right. So with the the place I work being so hot. Right now, I'm going to re-implement magnesium and potassium pills. I have some, like, hydration drops, but I don't know where they're at. I can't find them. And it's got potassium, magnesium, and sodium in them. You just add it to your drink, your water, or whatever. Oh, she's got Corey's flashlight. It has a flashlight. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm going to implement those because it's super hot in there. I'll, I mean, like, literally all I could smell was sweat. And I'm not sure that was all me. I think it was a lot of other people, too. But... It, it was today was just one of those days. I was huh? sweaty and gross. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Allergies have been kicking my rear end so bad. Uh, migraines, sinuses, tightness, all that. Possibly, well, most likely, a very big chunk of that is from the dietary choices I had been making, and I'm trying to get right. But God, it's hard. Uh. Which is why I'm still where I was eight months ago. My fault. My fault. My bad. <laughs> I hate that saying. I really do. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to get everything right, get everything straight, and figure out my own journey and get it back on track the way it was was in the beginning and everything. So, it's just because you do a lot more eating out and stuff like that than you used to, too. You used to cook at home 24-7. I know. And you have not done that since probably October. You know, I don't think in the first six months to a year, I ate out at all. At all. I mean, I don't think I did. You were too scared to. I don't even know that I was scared to. I was just full and content. But I think as it's gone, I mean, as, as it's gone so long... My food choices have gotten very boring, and I need I to think really. I we really that up. need to look through keto cookbooks. You can download cookbooks on your phone. I know like that, actual. but a lot of that stuff I can't have. Yeah, I mean, like we're, we're, we're talking electrolytes. I can't even have like um, Powerade Zeros. I can't have Gatorade Zeros. I can't have any of that stuff. I have to be very, very careful what I eat. And I mean, like, not, if it's not meat, cheese, eggs, and green leafy vegetables, if there's any additives pretty much at all, it doesn't work for me. This one is only uh, water, eggs, uh, I don't know if whey protein is okay. Whey? Um, 
It's not bad, but why would I want to eat whey protein? Well, it, it's for chicken. It's making keto fried chicken. And then it uses black pepper, Parmesan cheese, pork rinds, onion powder, I guess any kind of seasoning you want. Like, um, I guess you'd use the whey protein as kind of like a It does a say heavy substitute. cream, but I feel like we could I substitute can't. the heavy cream with something else, too. Like what? Maybe a thick butter? Maybe. I don't know. But see, I can't do really heavy creams and stuff like but that. But you can either. do butter. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Maybe instead, maybe we try to substitute it with something else that's full of fat. Oh. Uh, it does say oat fiber, but that's only one tablespoon of that, and I don't think we can even have to include that. Well, you know, oats don't seem to bother me too, too much. I, I'm what very... Uh, it's... Um, you ever seen Cheerios? It's kind of like that. Or is it like more like um, oatmeal? It's like oatmeal, wheat, grain, stuff like that. Yeah. Like you ever, uh, my favorite cereal used to be strawberry, um, oh, darn. Is it the Special K? Something like that, It was yeah. like where they had a little strawberry <coughs> chocolate with the milk and... With, the, with the, like, <coughs> oatmeal and gray <coughs> chunks. Yeah, yeah, with like the frost plates. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that. My, that was Special my, K. Oh, love it. Guess what? My, Mine was cinnamon toast. I know. Golden rooms. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a favorite cereal. I like... My, my mom always called me a cereal killer. I always thought it was Yeah, cute. I think that's Brian, too. Yeah. It's not so much I'd either. have to do it sitting on the throne. But. Like, I like cereal, but not enough to eat it every day or even consider it every day. I do. I would. I could if I wasn't keto. And you know what's kind of surprising? That that's one thing I don't really cheat with, even though I really kind of want to. But it doesn't really tip me. It can be up on the cabinet, and I usually don't mess with it. Well, usually when it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Uh, even if it's but a thing, I mess with it. But then again, if I bring home a thing of Krispy Kreme donuts, she has the first one. It, it, if um, she does, that makes it... She'll bring the Boston Cream ones just because she knows it tempts mom. I don't. I buy assorted ones. I don't get specific ones. I don't do I that. know, but when the Boston Cream is in there, oh my God. That's the one that gets me. Trigger warning. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 I know. I was legit saying trigger warning because we're sitting here talking donuts to people who yeah, are keto. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. See? Struggles. Um, it's hard. I struggle a lot. I, I have found these popsicles that I like that I think I can get by with. The I, keto ones? Yeah. I do think I can get by with those. I just have to get strict keto again and see if I can actually get by with them. Yeah. Yeah. My main problem is Anthony sits right next to me eating whatever, you know, and he'll hand me things too. Yeah. Athena will shove things in your mouth. He's exactly. Like, uh. Anthony does too. If Anthony decides he don't want it, he comes up to me, he's like, Anthony, you <laughs> <laughs> darn it. And Aaron, I, I won't even ask for his food sometimes. But he's so used to me asking for his food though, he'll leave one piece of chicken or something on his plate and he'll be like, here you go. Well, see, though, <laughs> if, 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 like I'm most sure of us, if we didn't food. mess with the one piece, we'd be all right. And some of us can mess with just the one piece, but that one piece leads to five pieces that leads to a chocolate bar that leads to... It's more like, for me, I eat that one piece and go, well, I'm not keto no more. Let's have this ice cream that's not yeah, keto friendly. I mean, I fell into that trap a few times, actually. So you know, I, try to be careful. But when I get in that trap, I get a constant loop of it. I clean... It smells so much better. All right, guys, we've talked a lot. You've seen my current weigh-in. Is that? Hold on. All right, you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. Today's lucky number is number 58. Enter 58 in the comment section below, and you'll be entered to win a Shashka bracelet. I've been missing things. When did this happen? I've been doing this for like two months now, or a month now. I don't know. Two that people have won. How long it's been since I've actually been in our video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let her get her. Anyway, guys and dolls, um, there are ways to support the channel in the comment section, in the description section below. There are some cool things you might not need, but you might want. Save a buck. Go ahead. Much love. Many prayers. Bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Oh. Tell me what to do. Because, what? <laughs> Where'd they get these stickers from? <laughs>